afternoon, my dear friends. Hello. <laughs> we are doing a wonderful adventure in nature. This is my lovely friend, Yakov. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> we are doing a hike in the National Park Galichitsa. Yep. Correct? And hopefully we will get to the top where we will get a view of Lake Ohrid, which is on that side, and then Lake Prespa, which is on that side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's supposed to be about an hour each way to the top. Should be more or less, yeah. Yeah. So we'll get in before sunset, hopefully, show you guys some amazing Macedonian food in the evening. And tomorrow we might actually be going to a small little village. Town, actually. Town, thank you. Uh, called Khrushchevo. So it's going to be a great adventure and I hope you guys will enjoy it. Alright, so we had a slight change in plans. Uh, we could have made it to the peak to see the two lakes from the top, but I'm actually not feeling too great and I think it would have just been too long of a hike for me. So what we've decided to do instead is to actually drive all the way down to Prespa Lake. Hopefully we get there before the sunset and kind of just see things um, from the shore and also, you know, I can uh, have my drone go up. So either way, it's an absolutely beautiful area and if you guys come here, you absolutely have to check it out. So we just made it to the shores of Lake Prespa and what you just told me that I didn't know is that this lake is shared by three countries, Macedonia, Albania, and Greece. Yep. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been to a lake before that's like shared in between yeah. countries. Everything's shared in the Balkans. <laughs> yeah. So technically what would happen if you were like rowing a boat would they like stop you and be like no where are your uh, papers for i don't Albania? know if anybody's tried that but yeah probably should be fine All right, I'm incredibly happy to have some warm tea to start us off. But Yakov, could you tell us about the things that people have to try as far as drinks go when they come to Macedonia? All right, well, you can't run away from Skopsko, which is the yes. most famous beer brand. And it's really good. I've pretty much had it every single time I go out. <laughs> and uh, what I'm drinking right now, it's called Mastika. Mm -hmm. It's from the southeast, made traditionally. And what I'm gonna do now is add a bit of ice and hopefully it's gonna go do some magic <laughs> slowly. Yeah. Well, we'll come back to that in a minute. The main drink that we drink, everybody in the Balkans, it's rakia. Mm -hmm. uh, the one we drink is traditionally made with grapes. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. it, it's quite strong mm -hmm. at home. Everybody does it at home, so it's mm -hmm. around 50 plus degrees. Then what we're drinking now is the same base of rakia, but they add some spices and some honey apparently. 
Oh yeah, and now it's gone this like look at this. hate color. Yeah, it's gone. Interesting. And Wine, of course, yeah, right? You can't. <laughs> That's my favorite. Wine you can't skip. <laughs> and don't you dare buy foreign wine in Macedonia. Absolutely not. So the first part of our food has come. So the first thing here is, of course, the Macedonian salad, which with roasted peppers is incredible. Then the potatoes here, I've never had this kind. Um, it's more traditional to have it with like yeah. onions and parsley and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's potato dish. salad actually. Potato salad. So it's cold, yeah. it's with onions, parsley and potatoes. Goes amazing with some rakia or mastica. And yeah. then the rest of our food just came. I just got something pretty basic. I just got like a chicken shish kebab and it comes with all the fixings. And then, what did you get? It's called uh, Lovechka Pleskavica, which means a hunter's burger. A oh, hunter's burger. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So, a bunch of, I think it's a mixture of uh, minced pork, beef and chicken with some, some cheese, mm -hmm. some yellow cheese. That looks fantastic. We are definitely going to have leftovers. <laughs> So we are on day two of our Macedonia road trip. We are in Khrushchevo, which is very high in the mountains. It took us quite a while to get here. It is the highest city, not only in Macedonia, but also in the Balkans. It has a very interesting history. Yakov, could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I guess it's the home of what now is the Republic of Macedonia. Mm -hmm goes all the way back to 1903 when the Ottoman Empire was still in power mm -hmm. and the people were very not happy with it. On the 2nd of August of 1903 there was an uprising called the Ilinden Uprising which is connected to the Ilinden holiday which is an Orthodox Christian holiday. They used that day because on that holiday every year of course the, the bells of the church rang so mm -hmm. that was like the sign for everybody to get their guns and go go to war more or less. They managed to to uh, defeat the Ottomans and Khrushchevo for 10 days managed itself as a as a republic. Hmm. And that is the first big kind of partly successful uprising of the Macedonian people against the Ottoman Empire. And uh, yeah, after 10 days, the Ottomans came back with more men, gained it back. But here we are now in independent Macedonia, and that has a lot to do with this uprising. Well, it's a very beautiful little town as well. And uh, from the few pictures that I've seen so far, there's a very unique memorial sort of building that we're going to see oh, yeah. <laughs> later today. Yeah, there's a memorial, like a weird ass socialist, very cool kind of building. Mm -hmm. That de that's dedicated to this uprising, so we're gonna see it in a bit. So what have we got here? We have got lokum, mm -hmm. which is a traditional Ottoman sweet mm -hmm. and this one is the most famous in Macedonia it's basically jelly more or less very simple but very satisfying okay. gotta try this oh it's different than Turkish delight I take that back no it looks very similar to Turkish delight but it's like I would call it almost <laughs> gooey almost yeah, <laughs> that's not the word that i want but god i don't have a word other than gooey but it's good it's good <laughs> <laughs> good gooey. it's good goo <laughs>
Hi! Hello! 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 <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You are so sweet! <laughs> Alright, this is definitely the weirdest monument <laughs> I have ever been at in my life, but I love it. I love when things look so weird. So this is called the Macedon Macedonium. <laughs> I'm saying it. Macedonium. Yes. And it's dedicated to the uprising. Yeah, it's dedicated to the Linden uprising mm -hmm. that we were talking about earlier. And it was built in the 70s during the time of Yugoslavia, which is why it's so funky futuristic <laughs> brutalist looking and uh, yeah it's it's beautiful and usually it's open we can go inside there's a bunch of murals on the wall and stuff like that but today we're not that lucky it's okay I, I still like just looking at it from the outside this is a must if you're in this area you have to see this thing and you know post it to Instagram <laughs> All right, friends, this brings us to the end of this fantastic road trip. Yakov, thank you so much for all your help and taking me around. I don't think I would have seen as much if it wasn't for you, so thank you. Pleasure is all mine. <laughs> and I think if any of you guys are thinking of coming here, I would really recommend coming to these smaller sorts of areas, not just Ohrid, because this does give a whole new component to Macedonia and is still quite tourist friendly like yeah. Yeah. I think you wouldn't really have any issues coming to a place like maybe Bruchevo. the language a bit but otherwise should be fine so thank you guys so much for tuning in leave your comments down below if you've ever been here or if you're now going to come here and as always I hope you guys are having a fantastic day keep being your own kind of beautiful and I will see you soon bye bye